Hey there, friend. Did you know that having a fatty liver can significantly up the ante on the risk of those pesky blocked arteries? It's quite the double trouble, and what's surprising is that some of the culprits might be hiding in what we think are healthy choices. Now, here's the real scoop. Since 2019, there's been a pretty alarming increase in cases of fatty liver turning it into this silent epidemic that slips under the radar because our liver is a trooper, bouncing back even when it's taken a whopping 90% hit. But fret not. We're going to dig into the nitty-gritty of the absolute worst foods you should steer clear of. Plus, we'll dive into the good stuff, the foods and tips that can work wonders in healing and safeguarding your liver. And guess what? I've got not one, but two awesome free gifts lined up for you to naturally combat heart disease. Stick around, my friend. And, oh, before you go, be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. We've got some fantastic videos coming your way, and I wouldn't want you to miss out. Cheers to a healthy heart and a happy liver. 1. Refined Carbohydrates Let's talk about our first culprit in the fatty liver saga, refined carbohydrates. These sneaky little things can really throw our system out of whack. When we gobble them up, our body breaks them down super quickly, flooding our system with glucose. And guess where that excess glucose likes to hang out? Yep, you guessed it, right in our livers, cozying up as fat. Research published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2017 has shown that consuming refined carbohydrates can lead to the accumulation of fat in the liver, especially in people at high risk of the disease liver aging. The trouble with refined carbs, like those processed grains, is they're missing a key ingredient, fiber. Without it, they zip through our system way too easily leaving behind a trail of extra fat in our livers and around our bellies. And as if that's not enough, all that extra sugar floating around? It's a recipe for inflammation and oxidative stress, paving the way for heart troubles. 2. Salt Let's chat about another troublemaker on the list, too much salt. I know, I know, it's in everything, and it's tough to escape. But here's the lowdown, going overboard on salt is like opening the door to a bunch of health issues, from high blood pressure and heart disease to stroke and kidney problems. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Investigation in 2017 showed that high salt consumption can increase fat binding in the liver, especially in people with high salt diets. Believe it or not, research has this sneaky connection between a sodium overload and extra fat setting up camp in your liver. And get this, it can happen even if you're not munching away on everything in sight or piling on the pounds. The key here? Stick to that recommended daily sodium intake. It's like giving your body a little love note saying, let's keep things in check, shall we? Three toxic oils. You see, some of those oils, even the ones that claim to be super healthy, can actually do some serious damage to our liver and arteries. Take trans fats, for example. They're sneaky little troublemakers hiding out in things like margarine and shortening. Our bodies struggle to break them down, which can lead to a buildup of fat, inflammation, and the formation of these nasty compounds that wreak havoc on our artery walls. Not fun, right? And then there are those popular vegetable oils, you know, the ones we see lining the grocery store shelves. Canola, corn, soybean, sunflower, the list goes on. But here's the kicker, they're highly refined and just waiting to go rancid on us. That means they can cause damage to our cells, stir up inflammation, and even contribute to cardiovascular issues. But hey, there's a glimmer of hope. A study found that coconut oil actually worked its magic and reversed fatty liver disease in rats. Now, it's still early days, 
but it's definitely something to think about. Maybe adding a bit of virgin coconut oil to your diet could be a helpful little boost against fatty liver disease. If you're finding all this info as eye-opening as I am, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. It helps us spread the word and reach even more folks who could use this valuable info. And hey, if you've got any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below. Let's keep this conversation going. 4. Fast Food Let's get real about those fast food joints we all know too well. They love to use the oils we just chatted about because, let's face it, they're cheap and perfect for that lightning fast cooking they're famous for. But here's the kicker, these oils aren't just a one-time deal. Nope, they get reused over and over throughout the day, cranking up the volume on their not-so-friendly effects. Each time that oil gets a sizzle, it's like it's creating a recipe for disaster, a mix of chemicals like aldehydes and lipid peroxides that flood our bodies with these harmful free radicals. And don't even get me started on what's actually in those fast food meals. They're like a symphony of cheap, inflammatory ingredients that wave bye-bye to fiber and essential nutrients, saying hello to some serious weight gain and clogging up our blood flow. Yikes, right? Now, here's the silver lining. Consider making your meals at home with fresh, whole ingredients. It's like giving yourself the VIP treatment for your health. When you're the chef, you're in control, choosing the good stuff and opting for healthier cooking methods. But hey, I get it. We all have those days when we crave some restaurant vibes. When you do venture out, Go for places that put a premium on fresh ingredients and whip up your dishes through kinder methods like grilling, steaming, or baking, steering clear of the deep fryer chaos. Your body will thank you for it. 5. Sugar Let's talk about the real troublemaker in the world of fatty liver and clogged arteries, sugar. This little villain, when consumed, breaks down into glucose and fructose. Glucose is like the energy superhero for our body cells, but when we've got more than we need, it heads to the liver. Now, here's where it gets tricky, fructose, mainly hanging out in that sneaky high fructose corn syrup, takes a detour through the liver too. This sugar onslaught can lead to unwanted fat setting up camp in our belly or liver, kicking off some not-so-friendly processes. We're talking atherosclerosis artery disease, insulin resistance on the rise, a red carpet to diabetes, and nerves in our arms, legs, eyes, and heart taking a beating. Hold on to your hat because artificial sugars, like the infamous high fructose corn syrup, are even sneakier. They're not just lurking in sodas and candies, they're hiding in breads and cereals too. This stuff zooms into our bloodstream, triggering a fat production party in the liver. Studies even spill the beans on a connection between high-fructose diets and fatty livers, throwing in some liver tumors for an unwanted bonus. And if that's not enough, high-fructose corn syrup messes with our intestinal barrier, the superhero keeping bacteria and toxins from sneaking into our bloodstream. The dangers of sugar are no joke, with studies linking regular diet soda sipping to a whopping 67% increase in type 2 diabetes and a 36% rise in metabolic syndrome, the heart and liver trouble zone. Sugar's a tricky beast, addictive and all, so saying goodbye might take a bit of persistence. But trust me, the effort is worth it for the long-term boost in energy and keeping those diseases at bay. 6. Convenience Food The culprits behind a perfect storm when it comes to stirring up fatty liver issues. They're like the villains in our health story, combining all the nasty stuff we've talked about, refined carbs, sneaky salts, undercover sugars, and those toxic oils. But here's the kicker, the damage doesn't stop there. Processed foods are like a Pandora's box of additives, preservatives, and chemicals crafted to keep them hanging around longer and tasting better. 
These Frankenstein foods? They wreak havoc, causing inflammation, cell chaos, gut problems, and a bunch of other not-so-great stuff. Here's a little-known secret from the commercial food world, the bliss point. It's a term in food chemistry that describes the perfect mix of sugar, salt, and fat that makes us crave more. Processed foods are like artists at creating these bliss points, making them highly addictive. It's a vicious cycle of overeating, cravings, and forming unhealthy relationships with toxic eats, all in the name of profit. The result? Weight gain, low energy, and a one-way ticket to diseaseville. Avoid processed foods. Say no to frozen meals, commercial cookies, processed meats, canned soup, and all their highly processed buddies. Instead, become the chef of your own health journey. Not all fats are bad guys. Saturated fats, like the ones in virgin coconut oil, can actually be heroes for our livers. A 2018 study spilled the beans on this surprising benefit. Olive oil, packing monounsaturated fat, is another superhero guarding against fatty liver disease. So, when you're in the kitchen, go for the healthier, less processed fats. Using wholesome, real ingredients is like holding the reins of your health. 7. Alcohol Alcohol and its impact on our liver especially when it comes to that stubborn fatty liver issue. Alcohol isn't just another item on the watch-out list, it's a full-fledged toxin. Our liver, our superhero detoxifier, sees alcohol as a troublemaker and puts it at the top of the to-do list, sidelining other essential tasks. The constant effort to process alcohol can lead to inflammation and scarring, the notorious cirrhosis, putting the brakes on the liver's A-game. Cirrhosis often dances hand-in-hand hand with liver failure and the big C, cancer. Some types, like beer and those sweet cocktails we all love, come with a side of sugar. So, now our liver isn't just dealing with a toxic intruder, it's also grappling with a spike in blood sugar levels. In simple terms, alcohol is like a double whammy for the liver, pulling double shifts to kick out the toxin and manage the sugar rush, all while speeding up that pesky fat buildup. Even if your drinking habits are on the moderate side, the liver isn't exactly thrilled, but heavy or chronic drinking. If you've got your eye on your liver's well-being, it's time to be a bit of a watchdog for your alcohol intake. Stick to the recommended limits, one drink a day for the ladies, and two for the gents, and throw in some alcohol-free days every week. A 2018 study, hot off the press from the journal Gastroenterology and Hepatology, dove into the impact of giving up the booze for just one month. The brave souls who took the plunge showed some serious improvements, better insulin resistance, blood pressure, weight, vascular endothelial growth factor, and even liver function tests. It's like a high five to the liver's resilience and its ability to bounce back when we give it a breather. Stay away from the seven bad foods above. Finally, my advice for you to overcome fatty liver disease and clogged arteries, think about filling up your plate with a rainbow of fruits and veggies, they're like a power-packed team of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, all working their magic for liver health. Those cruciferous veggies, like broccoli and Brussels sprouts, are like the secret agents of detoxification, thanks to sulforaphane. And those leafy greens? They're the knights in shining armor, neutralizing toxins with their chlorophyll power. Turmeric brings its A-game too, with curcumin protecting the liver like a shield. Garlic? It's like the unsung hero, slashing liver fat like a pro, just like that study found. Starting your day with a warm cup of lemon water. It's like a gentle nudge for your liver, blocking fat from setting up camp in its tissues. And here's the kicker, these foods aren't just liver superheroes, they're like a big hug for your heart and arteries too, 
keeping your whole body in tip-top shape. For my fellow coffee lovers out there, here's a fun fact. That morning brew isn't just for perking you up. It's like a high five for your liver too, revving up a special anti-inflammatory enzyme that's like a bomb for your liver. Studies even show lower fibrosis in folks with liver issues who enjoy two cups or more a day. Let's talk about getting our bodies moving. Regular exercise isn't just for those Instagram gym buffs, it's like a love letter to your liver. It helps with keeping those pounds in check, dialing down insulin resistance, and giving your liver a high five for its function. And here's a friendly reminder from me to you, drink up. Water, that is. It's like the ultimate flush for toxins and waste, keeping your liver happy and healthy. Most folks aim for around 8 cups a day, but hey, listen to your body and adjust as needed based on your size how much you move, and other bits of your lifestyle. Last but not least, let's talk meds. They can be like a double-edged sword for your liver, or handle them with care. Over-the-counter stuff like ibuprofen and acetaminophen, along with statins and certain antibiotics, should only be taken if absolutely needed. Read those labels, stick to the recommended doses, and hey, why not balance it out with some of those liver-loving foods we talked about earlier? Got any liver-friendly or not-so-friendly foods on your radar? Drop a comment below, let's keep this conversation going.